In this video, I'll be showing you guys my top 3 tweaks on iOS 12. Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel so obviously in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my three top tweaks which do work on iOS 12 now you guys can test them out for yourself they do some really awesome stuff which you basically don't need a full jailbreak for which is cool so this jailbreak is kind of like you can turn it on and off whenever you want which is awesome I will be showing you this in a couple of moments but before we get started with that I will have to let you guys know I am doing a collaboration with Tyler so make sure to go check out his Twitter and YouTube channel down below he will be helping me explain to you guys how to do this process for each tweak we have so without any further ado guys be sure to like and subscribe comment down below if you have any questions or comment just to say hello to me i greatly appreciate it let's get on with today's tutorial thanks for enough an introduction what's up guys my name is tyler and welcome to the tutorial part of this video so as Tucker said i want to be showing you guys the top three tweaks for the rootless jailbreak on ios 12. so you're gonna need two things before we start that's going to be in the description which is going to take you to this link, sorry I clicked the wrong link by accident. We're gonna go into routinehub.co to this shortcut example here. So first, you're gonna press get shortcut at the bottom here. It'll open up shortcuts. You're gonna press get shortcut, but I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. It'll end up in your library, just like that. Then you guys are gonna go make sure that you have iSurprise here installed. If you don't, you can just go ahead and press that toggle in the iOS Jailbreak app. And then after you make sure that you have that installed, we're gonna go ahead and head to the second link in the description. That's going to be to my personal website, which is iphoenixhub.xyz. First, you're going to hit unpatched devs uh, at the very bottom there. And, um, so I almost opened it in the window. Then you're going to hit cylinder, which is the fourth option. Once that downloads, you're going to click on the top, copy the link, um, and then you'll head back to your home screen. Make sure you, um, go into your iSubress, you have you open shortcuts, uh, press shortcuts, and then you'll press all in one. Then you can go back into shortcuts, Tap on that uh, shortcut, press unpatched, second option, and paste that URL that you copied, and then press OK. Then in a few seconds, it'll say install and remove. Obviously, we want to press install. Uh, and then in a second, you will see another prompt to respray our device. And we are back. I just finished receiving my device. Now you can see we have the animations for cylinder on our device. So, if you go into settings, you can customize your animations. So, scroll down, and here you see cylinder. You can click on that, and you have all these different effects. Then you can choose. Uh, randomize does not currently work, uh, but there might be some support in the future. We don't know. Now, we're going to head to uh, the same uh, place, but we're going to head to patched zip files. Um, and once you click on that, you will get two more tweaks. We're going to click on Snowboard, make sure you press Get on that, uh, and then you will get that link again. Make sure you copy it, go back, make sure you go into uh, Open Shortcuts, then you go back into iSuperSU, press All in One on that, then go back into Shortcuts, press the same extension. Now this time, you're going to press Zip, because we have a zip file. So you're going to paste that link, and then you're going to press OK. No, I already have this tweak installed, so I'm not going to install it. So I'm going to press cancel, but make sure you can sit and get before it's cylinder. Um, and then after that, you'll respring your device. And then you'll get a cool little animation that will confirm that you've installed the tweak. And I like it. It's a really cool uh, little add-on that he put in there. And then you'll see the uh, snowboard section in your settings. When you can go and change uh, your theme. So you can see I have these themes currently enabled. Where... Um, for both the themes and the badges, um, I'll be a link to those in the description as well, so you can check those out. Okay, and we're back. So now, if we go back, uh, notification center, you'll see now that we have these, the iPhone 10 toggles, they actually do work. Uh, we hit the control center toggle up here, the grabber, you can slide up to unlock, you have the, uh, control center from the top right, you have the control center, for other multitasking, for if you drag up and hold from the bottom, you have the home bar on the bottom here to help you swipe up. Um, you know, and you don't get that iPhone 10 status bar everywhere. You only get it on the home screen as of yet. But yeah, and then you have all the iPhone 10 gestures on your non-iOS, uh, on your non-iPhone 10 device. Uh, and that's gonna do it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, 
don't forget to subscribe, and my links will be down in the description below once again. But yeah, we will see you guys next time. Peace.